Hello. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to terminate the UCL Swift 900 micron Sam Tom connector using the KF4A all-in-one active clad fusion splicer. First, turn on your splicer. Next, make sure all the parameters are correct for the splice you're about to perform. In this case, I've got it set for the LC and I do need to change it to a SAMTOM function. Select your main menu, scroll right to heater, select, and then find ST. In this case, it's one function down, select, escape all the way out, back to your main. Once back at your home screen, Go ahead and load your inbound fiber. Here, you're going to load it with the back boot, the ST nut, then the shrink tube. Then, place your fiber in your 900 micron holder. leaving approximately a one inch tail coming out of the holder. Next, take your ST connector holder, place your connector in the holder, close your holder, set aside. At this point, turn your stripper on, open your left and right doors, place your inbound fiber in the stripper, close both doors. Once this is complete, it's important. Open your left door first, remove your holder, then you can open your right door. Take your cleaning cloth, clean your fiber. Open your cleaver door, open your trash bin, place your holder in the channel, close your trash bin, Firmly close your cleaver door to press your cleaver button. Open your cleaver door again, place within the splicer. Next, take your connector and do the same. Strip clean, cleave, and place in your splicer. Once both holders are in your chamber, go ahead and close your wind cover. An initial flash is sterilizing the glass, then it will pause. At this point, if everything looks good, your cleave angles are right, go ahead and press play. Once complete, if, uh, it'll show you an estimated loss Go ahead and open your wind cover and wait for the tensile test to be performed. This is a two Newton pull and hold test, testing the integrity of the splice. While that's taking place, go ahead and turn your stripper off. Close your stripper doors, close your cleaver, open your oven, remove your connector spacer, set it aside, then Bring your shrink sleeve up, depress the back of your holder, release the pressure, remove your connector, drop your connector immediately, let it hang straight, and then pull up your shrink sleeve, covering the small nib of 900 at the base of the connector, and place it in your heater. Close both doors, turn your oven on. This takes approximately 30 seconds. Be sure to close both your holder doors before trying to close your wing cover or you can damage your holders. Once your heater's gone off, go ahead and open your heater doors, 
Remove your connector and place in the cooling tray in the back. Allow it to cool for 10 seconds before final installation. Once cooled, go ahead and take your ST chuck. You're going to take the dust cap end, insert into the jig. And there's a small notch and a notch hole. Insert the connector into the fully into the notch hole. Next, bring up the ST head, insert and lock onto the jig. Once complete, bring up your back boot, screw it onto the back of the connector until tight, and then release your connector. This completes this video. Thank you.